Hi everybody, so I'm in a new location filming. I usually film upstairs in my room, but I thought this background would look nice, especially because I am doing a fall decor haul today. I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, I love to shop at At Home. I love shopping at Christmas Tree Shop, which I think is so budget friendly, I should say. If you don't have a Christmas tree shop or if you don't know if you do, definitely Google and see if there's one within like a decent, you know, mileage to you because it is so worth it when it comes to fall, Halloween, and Christmas decor. Now, everything else, they're kind of like lackluster. I guess the holidays, those types of holidays, like 4th of July, um, Easter aren't as big. I don't know. I'm not positive. But so far, I have had really good luck with Christmas, fall, and Halloween decor at a Christmas tree shop. I have something from TJ Maxx, and I have a few things from Dollar Tree because I was so impressed with Dollar Tree this year. Their fall and Halloween decor has been really, really amazing. They were doing really well last year, but this year is even better. So if you're interested in seeing what I got this fall to decorate my home, definitely keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Charlie. These are the kinds of videos I love to do. I love sharing home decor, budget-friendly things, plus-size fashion, makeup, anything that will entertain you at the end of the day. So if that sounds interesting, I would love you to stick around and subscribe. So let's just get right on to the haul. Less rambling because we got a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, so we're just going to start with the stuff from a Christmas tree shop. It's weird to say because it sounds like it's a Christmas tree store, but it's definitely all kinds of decor. I did go to at home this year and let me know, maybe I'm wrong, but it felt like the prices were very high this year. It felt like they were like just a little too pricey for me. I don't know if maybe they have a rewards program or if they um, have some stuff going on sale, but it just felt very overpriced this year so I kind of passed on anything from at home and of course I haven't been to Hobby Lobby yet they usually have really good sales but when I get to them maybe I'll share some more so let's get started I'm just going to go in with this stuff from at home first and I can't wait to show you some of these prices because I feel like they are so affordable so I have a little tiny section right when you walk into my home that needed something slim and my husband kept asking me to please get something for that area because it looks kind of bare and he usually doesn't <clears throat> have an opinion about home decor so if he asks, I usually try to find something. This was $4.99 and it's really good quality. So I'm gonna have to stand up and show you. I love this piece. When I saw it, I thought it was gonna be like $15 to $20. So when it was $4.99, I was shocked. So it's a bunch of little pumpkins and it has little tiny bells on it. And they are made from like, they almost look like the um, stem of a pumpkin and it has a welcome on it. So I thought this was gorgeous. Now it does have a tiny bit of glitter. So I know some people don't love that, but the glitter isn't like how Dollar Tree does the glitter. It's not like on the surface. It's like in the paint, I should say. It looks almost like somebody made this for me. I absolutely love it. And when I tell you it is such decent quality, it feels like real wood. I love this. I mean, of course it's wood, but it feels like decent wood. So here's the whole thing. I absolutely find this piece to be beautiful. I was so excited to find it. And when I saw the price of it, I was really willing to pay 12 to $15. The fact that it's $4.99 was incredible. I do have a haul from last year that I will post for you guys, or I'll put it up in the description card, sorry. Definitely check it out because they had some of those items as well. And I just went a little crazy. Um, I'm done fall shopping, I feel like, for this year. So she says. I don't know. For some reason, recently, I have come to really love home little gnomes for home decor. I don't know why I think they're so cute. Growing up, I didn't love them as much. But now I just feel like they are such a cute accessory. And this guy was only $8.99. Girl or boy, whatever you want to call it, it's a little redheaded gnome. I loved this knitted hat. Now, let me tell you something. If you found this at like Kirkland's or um, Hobby Lobby, you're going to pay a lot. Even TJ Maxx, you're probably going to pay $15 to $20 for something like this. The fact that it's $8.99 was really impressive to me. She has red hair, a little button nose, and I love the beading. Look at the green beading. I thought that was so unique and beautiful, and it has the... Um, stuffed bottom with beads to keep it upright i thought this was so cute and i loved it and i feel like i have nothing like it and i just was obsessed with the beadings they had a bunch of different colors and i really think for this size gnome was a really good price let me know what you think and do you love her 
it is amazing. I just think it is one of the cutest little things I've ever seen and it's going to look so cute and I will be able to use this piece all the way up into closer to Christmas when I start uh, decorating for Christmas. I always decorate the day one or two days after Thanksgiving so I love to decorate that Friday usually. Um, that Friday or Saturday after Christmas. Not Christmas, after Thanksgiving. So another little gnome I ended up getting, and this one was $1.99. I was so impressed. Oh, I guess you can hang it up. So maybe it's like for, um, I guess you could do any kind of purpose for this. I just wanted it as a little shelf piece, and I thought the green, again, was so beautiful. Like this mossy green with the little pop of orange I found to be really cute. And for $1.99, I'm telling you, it's decent quality. It's not like... The ones you get from Dollar Tree or Dollar General, this one's decent. And I was so impressed with it and they had a bunch of colors. So I absolutely love this little piece and I was so happy to find him. So I got one very, very similar. So I had the one that looked like a little boy with his little beard. And then I found a little matching girl. She has like a burlap sack for a dress and little pigtails. Tell me those pigtails are not so adorable. I mean, they just kind of make... They just pull it together and make it cute and it had gray hair they were matching so her hat's green to match his dress and then i just thought these were such a cute pair and for two dollars i mean you guys it's perfect now i was looking at the reefs i went to at home for reefs i went to christmas tree shop because usually they have an abundance of reefs and i have seen them from twenty dollars and the most i saw was like thirty four dollars which i think is really really affordable for fall and christmas reefs um i just didn't find anything i loved now when i went to tj maxx i found quite a few that i was loving but i just couldn't pay seventy dollars for a reef this year i thought that was way out of my price range and i couldn't say to you guys oh go buy this seventy dollar reef i just think it was little they weren't <sighs> The quality wasn't worth it, in my opinion. I have amazing reefs from last year, so I'm just going to re reuse them. And that's fine with me. I always reuse my reefs. I just wanted to look and see if there was anything new, but I ended up passing on that. I just wanted to put that out there. So let's uh, finish up with the gnomes. I have to show this one because I was obsessed. She was $5.99. Um, I had to have a price check on her, so very very inexpensive so what drew me to her was her little white daisy she's got a white all over beard i say she he it doesn't matter and then it has this corduroy burnt orange cap that bends so you can do anything you want with it absolutely stunning and amazing and i have something so incredibly cute to show you at the end i'm going to save the most amazing find for last for you guys so definitely stick around for that because you guys are gonna either be fall in love or laugh your butts off when I show you what my sister got for me but I thought she was perfect I think the little bit of burnt orange is gonna go beautiful with the greens and the oranges I well it is orange but I meant like the other oranges and the khaki colors everything I love this little piece and I loved the little white daisy so happy to find that and for $5.99 it was incredibly affordable so something that was a little Halloweeny and this was more expensive than what I uh, had paid for some of these other items but still very very affordable and I loved it was this witch hat so my one of my favorite two types of decor are anything that kind of looks vintage so maybe someone will understand like I love the Christmas carolers that look like they were from like the early 18 no, the turn of the century, like early 19th century, late 1800s. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'll pop a little picture. And I love the elves that are Halloween elves and Christmas elves. They're kind of ugly, so people don't always love them. And then I love the old ceramic trees, especially the old ceramic Christmas trees. And I love the um, ones they make for uh, Halloween, sorry. And I thought this would look beautiful with my little ceramic Christmas tree. You could use this as a centerpiece for your table, for your coffee table, for your regular dining table. I think this is a standout piece and it's pretty decent size. I mean, look at it compared to my head. I mean, it's it's a decent size piece. I don't know what it's made of because it's not like porcelain. Like I, it's probably like a thick piece of plastic and I loved, hey honey, move. You can't have that, they're not toys, baby. 
So I love this little tip of the hat. I thought it gave it a unique um, little touch to it. I love the way that it looks worn with the white paint. I really, really was impressed. And it's not like, obviously it's not pounds of heavy. It's not like super, super heavy, but it's a decent piece. And I loved the curvature of the hat. I have a bunch of witches, hat that I, witches hats that I had bought to, you know, when everyone kind of hangs them from the ceiling. Well, it didn't work for me. I wasn't able to figure it out. So I just kind of put them around the house. And I think this will look really, really cool. This Chris. I think this will look really cool this Halloween. I also had bought myself a really, really cute um, Halloween tree. It's like four feet. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it for you. And I am obsessed. And I think that's going to look super beautiful. So I take one of the witch's hat. And that's what I use as a Halloween Christmas tree topper. Not Christmas tree. Halloween tree topper. And I love it. So last year, I went crazy at Dollar Tree. And I bought every color velvet pumpkin um, like Buffalo check pumpkin that they had. I bought a beautiful big pumpkin with our family initial on it. So I knew I wanted to be careful when I went and bought pumpkins, but these were so in such an unusual and unique color. And I thought they would just be fillers, like really nice little fillers. And they were $1.99. I couldn't pass up on these three colors because I've never seen colors like this for the pumpkins. I mean, I have, but not this affordable and cute. Pumpkins are so expensive. I've seen some for upwards of $100 and I was kind of shocked. I don't understand why they're so expensive, but look how gorgeous. And tell me these are not the most beautiful, appropriate fall Thanksgiving pumpkin. So you have your burnt regular orange, then you have this beautiful mustard color and then this burgundy one maybe, or like a mauve, I should say. $1.99, you guys, how incredible. The, these couldn't be more perfect. I almost should have got more. And if I stop over there, I might see a couple extra ones. But look how perfect these colors are. Tell me you don't love these. I mean, how could you not? These are going to be perfect little fillers. I have like little shelves up here. And I'm just ready to get my fall decor up. It's the middle or in the middle. It's the beginning of September. I usually have my fall decor up by now, but I've been wanting to film this and I've just been so busy. So I'm glad I'm sitting down and going to get this edited and up for you guys um so that i can decorate now question would you guys like a video of me decorating i'll film it and i'll have it ready in case some people would enjoy that i also am going to film today my making my home smell fall ready on a budget i'm going to show you all of my warmers that i think the wax melts that i think are perfect for this season they came out with some really really good ones so i'm excited to share that with you guys so i'll also do that today so i have some fall videos ready for you guys but let me know if you would like to see me just like a relaxing clean and put all not cleaning but like putting all of my summer stuff away and putting all my fall stuff i have quite a bit of stuff so let's move on then i saw these these were a little more expensive these were 2.99 but they were so beautiful they're speckled this one's like a mint green. It's actually coming up pretty true on camera and then white. I thought these would look beautiful. These are like wood, I believe. I wish I told you what they were made of. These are wood, these are porcelain. So these would break or glass, porcelain or glass, I'm not sure, but these are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. They're just speckled and I believe the top is like a goldy brown so these are so so beautiful i love them and they're gonna go perfect with the pumpkins that i already have um like i said i will link the last haul i didn't haul everything i got so there might be some stuff that uh wasn't in that haul but it's all like christmas tree and for affordable stuff look at this bag they let me well Look at this little bag I got too, because I, I keep forgetting that you need to bring reusable bags into places. And I thought this one was so, so cute. It says, which, which way to the candy? And I'm gonna use this. I love it so much. So let's get on to the next few things that I got. So I have three more things, well, four more things from Christmas Tree Shop, and then we'll move on to Dollar Tree and the one last item that I'm so excited to show you guys. So these were $2.99, and I thought for little signs like this, you can't find it cheaper. So this, like I said, was $2.99 and it says the witch is in and it has a beautiful owl, um, a cauldron, a witch broom, a rum sign. Um, it looks like the uh, planchette from a Ouija board, some type of poison, a crossbow. I just thought this was so cute. 
and so stinking affordable. I loved it. I love the owl with the witch hat. For $2.99, it's really, really decent. I think they're decent sizes. And like I said, these are going to be great little fillers. So I got that one. And for the same price, I picked up this one because I couldn't pass on it. I just loved it. It says, I put a spell on you. They did have like some knockoff, like hocus pocusy stuff, but it wasn't calling to my like soul like I wanted. There are some pieces from TJ Maxx that my sister is on the hunt for me for. I want the platter and a couple other things, but it's like they are gone. When people see them, they buy them. So it's very impossible to find some of the hocus pocus stuff. But this one was cute. It said, I put a spell on you. It's got like a death moth, I think they are. Correct me if I'm wrong. Book. Some type of poison, spider, snakes, and then some type of like um, voodoo, I would say. I thought this one was really, really cool, and I think they look super duper cool together. So yeah, for $2.99, they were great. Then my husband picked this out. He was not going to let me not get this. He saw this, and he was like, this would look so cool because he knows I'm a reader, and I have so many bookshelves with hundreds of books on my shelves and this was $12.99 and he was not letting me leave without this and I don't blame him it is so cool so it says curses spells potion and bruise and it's got two skull heads I think this is going to look so cool on my coffee table when I put my like battery operated lights tell me you don't love this this was such a good find and so inexpensive and it's like that like heavy plastic and then it had like distressed paper i just loved it and i think this was a great piece they had another one that was a little bit different but still really really cool and then i should have grabbed it but i was getting a little carried away and i knew i already had so much decor from last year like i told my husband you're out of your mind if you think i'm buying anything for christmas i was so overwhelmed with christmas decor last year that it was almost like ridiculous like i it almost looked cluttered like there was too much out so i said no but they had a dragon's eye book that looked like that but it had like a dragon's eye and it almost kind of reminded me of game of thrones so i really wanted it but i passed so you all know how expensive baskets are it doesn't matter what type of baskets even at hobby lobby they are so so expensive so this one was so affordable 9.99 they had a smaller one for 6.99 but i felt like this was the better deal for a couple dollars more and i can do halloween candy in this this just makes me so happy he is so friendly and so cute and look how big he is you could do foliage in this you could do a plant like a like a full plant you could do endless i think it's gonna be perfect for candy the, but the literally it's endless you could do anything you could do fruit in here whatever you would like i just thought you guys ten dollars these baskets are so expensive and it's really good quality they're cloth handles i just think he is so cute my husband's like do you want both of them and of course i did but like i said i was trying to control myself because if you saw my basement i have a huge like 30 gallon tote full of stuff and boxes still that need to be gone through and see what I actually have before I even purchase, think about purchasing anything else. So I loved him. So that was the very last thing that I got from at home. Okay, before I move on to Dollar Tree, I just wanted to tell you my grand total there. So for everything, discounts and everything, it was $84.60 from Christmas Tree for all this beautiful decor. I thought maybe you would like to know that some people are interested. So when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I was really impressed. I'm going to actually open them to show you. They came three in a pack. The brand is Crafter Square. I'm sure these are more like a crafting thing and less of a decor. But I was like just obsessed with them. And they did have pink ones. I should have just grabbed the pink ones to have them. But I was in love. And now I notice them everywhere. Look at these little mushrooms. Oh my god. And these were $1.25 at our obviously Dollar Tree has gone up 25 cents so when I was shopping at like at home and looking at other stores I saw so many mushroom little items and I was so excited to find these little tiny mushrooms I love them I think they're going to be an amazing filler I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet but I was like thrilled and then I found them in this beautiful like muted blue so let me know what you think. And for $1.25, I think these are cute. They're just like foam. So they're not like the best quality, but they'll last me if I'm careful with them. And I think they're really cool fillers as long as my dog doesn't get a hold of them. 
So I'm just going to go into, um, I always buy their, what is it, like their foliage, their greenery, like their decor items. I like it for the Christmas time. I just like to have it. I think they're good deals for a dollar because even at Walmart, they can be up to seven, tw I've seen $20 for some things. And I just thought these were unbeatable. So the very first one I got was absolutely stunning. I just need to see if I have a vase. If I don't have a vase, then I will go back to Dollar Tree and get one or I'll figure something out. I also have that big thing from Ikea that I could fill these with, but this one was so beautiful. So it's a glitter purple pumpkin. I know it might look tacky to some people, but it's for Halloween. It's supposed to just be fun. And then it just has a purple glitter in this black flower. So this was one of them that I got. I loved it and I thought it was incredible. My husband was helping me pick it out. He's so fun funny when it comes to home decor he used to hate like it wasn't his thing but now he's just like really loves it I think he loves it because I do so then I saw this one and so the difference is this one's a pumpkin so I thought they would look really cool together like the different tones of purple so this one is a skull this one looked really cute it just has a skull it also has the glitter in it this kind of glitter does come off so just be worn but I just thought this would look so cool so I went with the purple then I saw this one and it is a red, um, some type of red, ro not rose, just a red flower with some black on it. And I loved the pop of silver. So I thought even like in a bouquet, even though they're like mixed matched, I feel like they would look cool together. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I'll let you know. Maybe if I feel like it's something interesting enough, I'll film a little video. We'll see. Um, I do have other videos where I've done vases before and I've done gift baskets. I will link everything for you guys if you want to check that out. I did a gift basket for my daughter, not my daughter, my sister's 21st birthday. I call her my daughter because I've been raising her since she was a little girl when my mom passed away. Um, but when she turned 21, I made this beautiful, really cool, like sassy alcohol basket for her. And then I've done, um, I believe my fall vase from last year. So I could show you that, but these Halloween pieces are incredible. And I love that pop of silver, honey, stop it. Then I went with this one, which was a little more dark. It has the black skull with the, um, uh, more of a deeper, more of a deeper, more of a deeper red. Sorry, I got two hiccups for some reason. And I thought this would look really cool. And then it had the dead branches. And then these ones were a little bigger. These have a little more height to them. And these were just purple flowers with eyeballs in them, blue eyeballs. Tell me that's not crazy. Um, I'm not sure if this other flower was supposed to have an eyeball in it. I don't care for $1.25. They were super duper cool. And then I got black ones with eyeballs in it. No glitter, thank goodness. I guess no, because this one also only has two eyeballs in it. And I thought these would look really spooky and pretty together. I should have grabbed a little extra, but um, they were kind of limited to what they had. So I got what I could. I loved those foliage. Now, when I do my decor, I'll just mix and match. I'll do some fall, some Halloween. After Halloween, I just take down anything that's Halloween and keep up anything that I can... Uh, keep that looks okay through Thanksgiving I should say some of this stuff is enough for both holidays and some is strictly for just Halloween if you know what I mean these I would this is what I literally went looking for these are an amazing amazing find so I went and I finally found them I don't know if they have the size but they're about the same size as the ones you get from Walmart and they're just pie recipe so I got pumpkin pie I bought all of them then I got cherry pie look how cute these are gonna look so so adorable and I feel like these can stay up close to Christmas I'm gonna keep them as uh, seasonal pieces so that they look really cool and fun I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do these in my dining room so I got cherry pumpkin then I did apple which is one of my favorites they still have the plastic on them do you know how expensive these would be anywhere else I got them for $1.25 and they're good quality. And then I got pecan pie. I think I'm going to do them all together. I think these are really good quality. These are amazing. These canvases alone are really pricey. So to get these and then I'm going to do them like either I'm going to do something like I'm not sure how I'm going to put them up. So maybe suggest what you would do. Would you just do all four together? Would you put them all around? Maybe give me some suggestions because I would love to hear it. But I just thought like this is what I went for and to find all four of them was really really exciting so I have 
the piece of resistance, what I've been waiting to share with you guys because this, I was really like having um, a hard time. I've been having like a hard time with my mental health and I went and I just like to browse sometimes. And I, my sister works at TJ Maxx. She's a backroom coordinator. She always knows when the good stuff's in. And I saw this and I texted it to her and she wrote back mood, which is something we always say to each other. And I was like, this is me. And she surprised me and brought it home. Now, this is not gonna be for everybody. Before I show them, I'm not, I had to pick them up. I'm not gonna tell you the price because I would like you to kind of be like suspenseful because you're gonna think he's way more expensive. And the price was re really, really decent for what it is. So, ready, you guys? I'm gonna have to step way, way back to show you him. He's heavy as hell, but he's this like almost four foot gnome. He is really, really heavy and I love him. Look at him compared to me. I'm 5'4". <laughs> Do you see how big he is? Like this is incredible. I am obsessed with him. I love him so much. So let me sit him down to kind of show you and explain to you what he is. So he has this gorgeous leather and this twine on his hat. It feels like real leather. It is soft and it bends. The brand is Gardens Eden. Okay, I'll tell you the price in one minute. And then it has this beautiful twine. He has this gorgeous little wood. His nose is wood. If you hear that, it's wood. Underneath does say, so I, what I loved about it is his beard covered. What is it, underneath, I believe says happy Thanksgiving or so under his beard says happy Turkey day. He's really heavy, you guys, but his happy Turkey day, but you can cover it with his beard. So this would be good from September all the way to Christmas. He has this gorgeous, gorgeous knit pumpkin. He has, it's like just such good quality. He has this, I told you guys, I love gnomes. He has this gorgeous, like plaid just very neutral he's so heavy he's probably weighs about 10 pounds i'm not even exaggerating and then his gorgeous little boots match his hat they're just to see they're like that pretty worn leather now you guys i know like i said look how big he is compared to me he could be my boyfriend he's amazing he's absolutely amazing i told you guys he might not be for everyone let me put you down so you can really get a good look at him look how perfect he is you could style. I just don't know how I'm going to, like, where I'm going to put him. I just love him so much. Look at him. Is he not gorgeous? He is so tall, so beautiful. I love him. So are you guys ready for how much he cost? I'm not even exaggerating. $39. I know to some people it might be, like, a little pricey, but I, when I first saw it, TJ Mack... Max had some stuff for oh, close to $300. Some of their fall decor, hold on, let me sit down, you guys. Some of their fall decor, like that were bigger like this, were in the 200s, like ridiculous. So when I saw him, I thought he would be really, really pricey. I was looking at like $70, to be honest with you. And it's reasonable because he's huge. He's literally huge. I'm 5'4", and he's almost as tall as me. My husband laughed. This made us all so happy. He brought so much joy. It's so silly how things like this can bring you such joy in your life. He's so beautiful. I loved his wood nose, but I thought $40 was so impressive for this piece. Let me know what you think. He was at TJ Maxx. I had a bunch of these. I love him. And even though it's for Thanksgiving, I feel like his beard covers it enough. So let me know what you think of him. I was impressed obsessed in love i know he's not gonna be for everybody but he is impressive you but you have to admit he's very impressive you've never seen a gnome this big and the look how oh i wanted to show you the details in the pumpkin it's so soft it feels like somebody hand knitted this i just feel like this is something that looks um homemade almost but in like the best way possible I love him. I feel like if he was gifted to me, like if obviously my sister gifted it to me and it brought me so much joy, but I feel like if you know somebody that loves fall decor and you brought them a four foot gnome, I think they would be so impressed and so in love with him. 
He's so special. I don't mean to even, like, I don't even know how to describe. It was the hat that caught my eye. I love him so much. He's going to look beautiful with my other ones. They all kind of match. Again, here he is. So I just wanted to share him with you guys. I told you he'd be worth the wait. I think he's incredible. Let me put him down on the couch. I wanted to do this in this location. So I had, so I wanted to film this in this location. So I had room to show you guys everything. It has a pretty background with my big TV and my flowers and my bookcase. So I thought it would look really nice in the background instead of being in my room all the time. So this was, let me pull myself a little closer so I can, you guys can see me a little better. So this was my fall decor. If you would like to see me decorate my house, definitely let me know. I'm going to do that here. I wanted to do it today, but all my stuff's down in the basement and I am so clumsy. My husband does not want me bringing it up on my own. So he's going to do that for me tonight and I'm going to de decorate and I would love to know if it's something that would interest you. If you would leave it down in the comments for me, definitely let me know what was your favorite piece. I have a feeling that it's going to be that gnome or maybe the Dollar Tree. Feeling it's either gonna be the big giant gnome, the pumpkin basket, or those amazing Dollar Tree finds. So definitely let me know down below what in this haul you really enjoyed. If you have a Christmas tree shop, have you been there? What has been some of your favorite items? Do you have anything that I, like you recommend that you want me to run out and see if I can find? Definitely let me know. I would love you to stick around and subscribe. I will leave some of my social media links down below for you guys. I hope someone enjoyed this and I will see all of you guys in my next video. I mean, how couldn't you have enjoyed it with a four foot gnome? So I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.